So we're back with Tokyo Ki. We have got talk, we've got chat, we've got shelter, and we have got Sonny and Joseph on the table. My name's Mikey. Let's where are we gonna go with this conversation? Come and have a seat on the table of chat. Uh, is, well, it could be. Do you know them? So them boats over there. Yeah. The little ones are seven pound. Yeah. So um, yeah. I think they should be about three pound. About three? Why? Because like they're only little. Yeah. And like they don't go as fast. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Should the should the boats be cheaper? Maybe we can get the uh, get the manufacturer of the boats over or the or the, the, the retailer. Should the boats be cheap? What? I mean, surely the. Because um, the the like it's seven pound for like really nothing. Okay, but you, you say it's nothing, but you want one, don't you? No, I don't want one. You don't want one. I've okay. already got one. Okay. You've the, already got one. The, the, yeah, I do. The what? The the other festival that I went like yeah. a couple of years ago. Yeah. You were here a couple of years ago. Didn't yeah. You? Um, last time. Um, last time it was only about three pound. Okay, oh really? So it's a lot of inflation we've got. Anyway, we've got a new face to the table. My name's Mikey, we have got Sunny, we've got Joseph, what's your name? Emma. Emma. Um, and at the moment we're talking, I mean, it's following on from the churros debate, where it was proposed that the churros should be cheaper for children. But Sunny has just proposed that also these boats have gone up in price. Are things too expensive for kids? Well, if you're thinking of spending out of your pocket money, then maybe. But it's all about wringing out the mammy and daddy's purses, yeah. isn't it? I forgot, I forgot about my pocket money. Yeah, you sure? forgot about your pocket money. Okay. Yeah, I've got... How much pocket money do you get? Um, about... Depends, like, sometimes yeah. I get, like, £10 or something. £10, wow, OK. Come and have a seat on the table of chat. We're talking about child economics at the moment. Should kids have more money? Um... And should they be allowed to work as they were in the old days, up chimneys, down mines, to earn, earn, their own, earn their own money? Should they? Can we go back to the talking tent? Do you need to introduce yourself? He knows me. <laughs> anyway, so, so at the moment we're talking about the boats over there, but there's a general discussion about prices and about the economic abilities, I suppose, of the younger people here. Should they, be, should they have more opportunities to get money? Um, you get ten pounds sometimes pocket money. Depends, depends. Um, anyway, we've got a new face. So we've got Sunny, we've got Joseph, we've got Emma. What's your name? Kirsty. Kirsty, and I'm Mikey. Uh, what do you think? Should kids have more access to money? No. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. No. Why? Why? Oh, actually, they, they probably should. It might make them more aware. Yeah, yeah, yeah because then we're not spending their money. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Would you rather spend? Would you rather spend your own money? How would you like to make money? Well, yeah, I might actually spend. What do you, what do you do? What's your job? What do you want to do? What job would you do if you could actually go and earn money? Football. You play football. Fortnite player. You can, can you get? Can you earn money playing Fortnite? Yeah. No. Yeah, you no. can. You no. Can. No. Okay. Yeah, you go to a special thing. Yeah. Go, like, and then um, the like, you win money. Like, if you okay. win some. Come and have a seat on the table of chat. We're talking about should children be allowed to earn money and what jobs should they do? So far we've got playing football and Fortnite. And Kirsty, what do you think about this? What job? I'm just a bit disappointed with the rain. <laughs> yeah, I mean, BBC said it was only going to be a light rain shower at four o'clock. So I don't know what's going on. Okay, welcome. Well, um, well we've got a few, we've got some. Well, I mean, we've got Sonny here. I, I'm sorry to bring in Fortnite, but Sonny wants to earn money playing for. Come and have a seat around, and maybe let's just have a have a refresh on the names. Yeah. Twenty-five pounds for three drinks. No way. Ah, oh, we're not having this. Oh, we're here. Did you go to Norway to get those drinks? Okay. Anyway. Anyway, at the moment we are we're, we are having a, m a money discussion. Anyway, um, this is Tokyoki. Let's just get another. So we've got Sunny. We have got Joseph. We have got Emma. We've got Donna. 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 That's right. And Kirsty. What's your name? Ayla. Ayla. And, and you know mine. 
Finn. Amelia, yes. And uh, Laura. Nora and Matt, I remember Matt. And you know my name, don't you? No, I've forgotten, sorry. Ah, oh, Gracie. Sorry, well, you just didn't say enough last time. Gracie! Okay, Gracie, okay, and um, what's your name? Gary. Gary, okay, so at the moment we're talking about economics, we're talking about should, should children be allowed to earn their own money? Um, what, what, what job would you do, Finn, if you could do a job? Uh, uh, to do a job? Yeah. I would um, sit in my bed. Okay. <laughs> How would you make money out of that? Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe by... Okay, I'll let you think about my that. Job, my job would be yeah. eating all the sweets and treats and okay. chocolate How in the house. How could you make money from that? Because I'm yeah. the special taste and they pay yeah. me money, so then okay. if it's poisonous, then yeah. um, they get money. That's quite a high-risk yeah. job, though, isn't it? It's <laughs> quite a high-risk job. Okay, um, so, so far we've got playing football, playing Fortnite. Yeah, um, children should be sh children should be should be the boss. Yeah. What, yeah. What, what decisions would you make? Um, the adults should never boss people around them. Okay. And then. But, but I mean, but Sonny, how are you better at bossing people around than the adult? Just kick them in the bum. Okay, so you can kick someone in the bum. This is Tokyo. Come and have a seat. You're welcome. Come and have a seat. We have got Finn. Wait, what's again? Laura. We've got Laura, that's right, and Matt, and Gracie, and uh, and Sunny, and Joseph. Joseph, and Emma, and Donna, and Kirsty, and what's your name? Lily. And Tace. Was it? Tace. Tace. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we're, talk we're talking about. T-A-T-A. Oh, we've got Gary. T H Y S. Tace. How do you My choice. Like. Like face with a T. Like face with a T. Okay. Anyway, um, this is Gary over here who's standing up. Now we're talking about should young people have more of a chance to earn money and what would they do? So far we've got some ideas. Um, yeah. Sweet taster. Boss. Sonny wants to be a boss. But um, he feels he's better at bossing people around than adults because he can kick them up the bum. Um, but, I mean, what do you think? Sh I mean... Yeah. Children should do chores. Chores. Yeah. What sort of chores? What sort of chores? What sort of chores do you think you should do? Mm. Make sure hoover the bedroom. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So could you extend Make your, your bed. could you extend your hoovering? Wash the pots. Yeah. Okay. But could you could you rather than just doing that at home? Could you do that in other houses and make more money? Yeah. yeah. Okay. She, okay. She'll sit. She. She'll say that, but then she won't do it. Okay, you think you won't do it? Okay, you don't trust... Listen, 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 listen. Um, Emma, have you got a final thought? What, what's the question? Uh, what we're we just talking about, I guess at the moment we're talking about children working. Should they have more access to money? Could they go and do the hoovering in other people's houses? Oh, it's definite. De definitely children should have earlier access to money. Yeah. I spend willy-nilly... Yeah. And I wish I'd learned the value of money earlier yeah. and learned how to budget and yeah. have some responsibility to there's your pocket money, there yeah. you go, crack on. Okay, so and you learn the risks and the responsibility okay. of money. So if it's your own money, then you're a bit more careful yeah. about how you spend it. You don't just go out are we? and... We've our own, are we? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about this from this side? Thank you. I mean... How often do you actually do your chores when when you're asked to do your chores? Yeah, That's do you the do question. Them? You, yeah, okay, yeah. I'm gonna go straight. Saying all the right things for your parents, but, but do you do, okay. act, do you actually? Okay. How often do you do your chores? How often do you do chores? Oh, could, you, could you do that every day if you earned money? If you earned like five pounds a day doing it, would yes, you do, do it? Every? Yeah, I'd do it every day. Yeah, okay. You think that's five pounds? That's yeah, really expensive. Yeah, you're talking yeah. about like a pound, a pound of char. Okay. It should be um, ten pounds. Ten pounds for for, 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 for what? My own. Okay, ten pounds for. Okay, well, I mean, what we're talking about here is collective bargaining rights here, and we're getting together um, and trying to agree a, pr a price that's fair. Um, yeah, what's that? Um, maybe a pound a day. A pound a day? You think that's a more fair price? Yeah. Okay. 
Come and have a seat on the table of chat. We've got shelter. We've got people. Um, we, we're at the moment we're at right now. We're talking about should children have more access to money and how is that going to work? Does it mean they're working more? Sweets. More access to sweets. If it came to either money or sweets, what would you go for? Well, I will do money. Yeah. More money than more sweets, because then I could get more sweets. Okay, so mu with the money, you can actually buy sure. sweets. Okay. Okay. I mean, what about running a sweet shop or something like that? Could you be a, could you be a sweet dealer? Um, if you um, if you own um, um, a sweet shop, yeah. um, you shouldn't let um, you should charge them fifty pound per sweet. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, so what's that? Wolf of Wall Street. Wolf of Wall Street, Street over there. Okay. All right. So, is this what the future's going to be like? Our sweets going to when this lot get to to get old enough to run their own sweet shops? Will we be paying fifty pounds per sweet? No, no sweets left, though, wouldn't they? Because they'd eat them all. All right. Would these, you? You're talking uh, to these kids, right? And these kids. Really, what it's going to be like when these are older? Can you imagine, really, what, what yeah. is it going to be like? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. I mean. I mean, this is a question. <laughs> what? Look at like where they are now and what they expect now. Yeah. Do you okay. know what I mean? Okay. So basically, Kirsty's throwing this out to the table. What does the future look like? Is the future bleak? Is the future bright? The future's bleak. The future's bleak. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Yeah. Because we expect everything now. Okay. So too so much expectation. Yeah. Not enough. Okay. Kids don't know how. Kids don't know. These days, yeah, uh, out of work for what they get. Okay, okay. No, you don't. Okay, so let's let's post, post Brexit. Ooh, yeah. You think the future's, <laughs> the future's gonna be blue? How you started? It's totally ugly, you know. You know what I mean? What? How? Okay, when it comes to sweets and Brexit, is there is there a connection? Is, do we get a lot of sweets from yes. Europe? Do we, um, uh, is it gonna is Brexit gonna affect the sweet supply? Like, all of our suppliers are mainly from Europe. Some of them are from America. And okay. thank you for Donald Trump. Donald Trump's made some little thing about. Okay, how is how is Brexit gonna affect the sweet supply? <laughs> Cake. Is it a cake or is it a biscuit? Because you pay taxes, would, okay. don't you? I mean, will, will we have Jaffa? What, how will Brexit affect the Jaffa cake, if at all? Well, I don't know, because aren't Jaffa cakes at... I don't know. Okay. Jaffa cake scams. Since it says Jaffa cake on the packet, except it's a biscuit. Oh, is it a biscuit or a cake? Or is it, or is it a cake? Nah, it's not a cake. It's a cake. It's a cake. Because it says Jaffa cake. Mm. Mm. Okay. I'm okay. 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 Because Jaffa cake. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if it was a, if you if you were to make more money from it being a, yeah. Look, is Sebastian the crab out of the mermaid a crab or a lobster? Okay. It's just okay. I'm sure there's a gag in there somewhere. No, is it seriously? Yeah. Grab our lobster. Sebastian, well, it's not a lobster. To okay, so is Sebastian a lobster? Do you know? Do you know Sebastian? Not personally. No, but, but, it, but are you familiar but, uh, with the character? But the character also speaks, so yeah. I'm not sure he can constitute as a lobster. Or okay, a crab. so you think it's kind of got a human element? That? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Sebastian a weird mixture of human and crab? Is it a crab? It's, it's a, I thought it was a lobster. Okay. I thought it was a lobster. Okay. Okay, we're talking, we've got some crustacean questions going on here. Okay, we're talking all, all things crustacean here. Is Sebastian a, a lobster or a crab or a human masquerading as a crustacean? Yes, he is. He is a human dressed up as a crab. Okay. Except he got sent, yeah, except he got sent into death, so he got sent underneath, so he got sent underwater. Okay. How's he so small? He's got them, like... So you don't think he's a human? No. I mean, can can it's crabs? It's a made-up film. Can crabs and lobsters talk? No. 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 They don't. Okay. Do, do no, any, they don't. Do any animals talk apart from human beings? Do any? Yeah. Every single one does in their own little language. Okay. So, so let me just put this. Dog to dog talk. Yeah. Our dog. Our dog. Um. She always barks. Okay. And is she, she actually saying something? Yeah. yeah. She's saying, can I go on a walk? 
Okay. So, okay, so if dogs talk, we had parrots over here. What about crabs? Can crabs talk? Cordy? Oh, yes, Cordy! Cordy can call. What's that? A crab. We, um, yeah. we, we went to um, a seaside resort last week, and yeah. Isla was trying to train a crab called Cody. You're right. Okay. And she, um, she, was, she was a good crab, wasn't, yeah. wasn't she? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I can talk about that. Yeah. I can talk. Did the crab talk? I can talk? relate, relate. <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking about. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm Come over here. This is Talky Oki Table Chat. At the moment, we're talking about can, can crabs talk? Only in movies. Only in movies. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now I've passed them on. I've passed them on. What did the crabs say? Well, the big hell on Get out of the room. Okay, get out of the room. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay so we're talking, about, we're talking about can crabs or, and we can extend this to other animals as well. Can, can animals, especially crabs, possibly lobsters, can they talk and what do they say? What actually things they say? Get out of the room, says Sunny. Uh, um, what, what do other people think? What's that? With cats. Yeah. They don't actually meow to each other, they right. only meow to humans. Okay. So cats, that must be that they expect something. I yeah. read it in a book the other day. So cats actually... So let me just... They don't meow to each other, only to humans. So when a cat meows, it's trying to talk to a human. Is that cats only meow to humans? No, we got cats. We got cats. I just read it. No. Has anyone here got a cat? No. 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 Okay. We've got a cat next to that and two dogs. Does the cat meow? It goes like meow. It what, sorry? It goes like meow. Is that a meow? I don't know. Okay. Meow. Gary, have you got have you got a question? You heard your, heard your hand up? <laughs> Come and have a seat on the table of chat. There's a few different topics here. At the moment we're talking about um, can animals talk and what are they saying? Tace has just said that actually cats, I don't know if you know this, cats actually don't meow to each other, they just meow to human beings. It's their attempt at talking to humans. Um, and we're talking about animal language in general. Uh, Donna had a crab that talked. Donna had crabs. More than one, more than one. Uh, and they, t they said, get out of the room. Okay, um, so that's what that's what we're talking about. Anyway, what are your names? Dave. And Abby. Abby. Yeah. And we've got Sunny, we've got Kirsty, we've got uh, Donna, we've got Gary, we've got Joseph, we've got Isla, Gracie, and Matt, and Laura, and Finn, and Taysom. What's your name? Sorry, I forgot. <gasps> Lily. Lily, it's because you haven't said anything yet, Lily, that's why. <laughs> okay, well, let's get probably work. Someone's got to do it. Someone's actually got to sit and listen to all this. Uh, um, so, where do we want to go with this conversation? Do we want to talk about animals that can talk? Uh, can animals talk? Or is it just humans that can talk? Parrots. Parrots can talk. I once saw a parrot say, waiter, waiter, in yeah. a restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, do, um, what, do, was it in a restaurant? And the waiter got really annoyed at him. Yeah, and, like, okay. Kept thinking it was a customer. But it was okay. Um, yeah. so. they, re they, repeat, they, they repeat what you say. Do they? Is this crabs, crabs or parrots? Right, come on, parrots. Parrots. I think we've passed the crabs. We've moved on from. We've moved on. We've moved on from crabs. Okay. So what about other subjects of parrots? Um, parrots can talk, except they need trains, and trained parrots aren't as good as oh. non-trained parrots. Okay. Why? Because non-trained parrots, they can learn how to talk themselves. Okay, so some parrots can learn themselves how to talk. It's yeah. better to get the parrot to learn themselves. Final thought, Kirsty? Not there. Be safe. Okay. <laughs> any other co conversation? Is, is any of it going to stick with you, Gary? Final thought? Just be careful. It's a dangerous world out there. Da dangerous world out there with all these talking Watch out for Donna's crabs. crabs. <laughs> okay. Any final thought? Finn, have you got um, final thought? Watch out for crabs. Okay, watch out for crabs. Okay, so it's just us five around the table now. And maybe maybe we can make it six. Come and join in. We have got Taste, we've got Lily, we've got Dave and Abby. And my name is Mikey, what's your name? Ollie. Ollie, welcome. 
There's um, this is Tokioki pop up talk show. It's in a kind of free form, a free flow. This festival is called Making Waves, and we've had a lot of crustacean chat and general talk about sea life. There's been a few different. I'm just going to do a recap if you don't mind. So so far we, we've talked about should churros be subsidised for children, and then we talked about um, what is good festival food. We also talked about the economic the earning abilities of children should they be allowed to do jobs and earn more then we talked a little bit about um, uh, what would be good jobs for children such as running a sweet store would that be a good job and then we started talking about whether a jaffa cake was a cake or a biscuit and then we talked about whether sebastian was a from finding nemo was a cramp or a lobster Sebastian from Little Mermaid. Oh yeah, from Little Mermaid. <laughs> whatever, whatever. Uh, thank you for, p for pointing that out. Come and join in. Come and have a seat on the table of chat. We've got Ollie, we've got Abby and Dave and Lily and Chase and I'm Mikey. At the moment we're we don't know what we're talking about. So where are we going to go from this? What? It's up to you. My job is simply just to move the mic. Ollie, Ollie any, any of that? Does any of that strike a note with you? Sports. Sports. Okay, we haven't really talked about sports. What do you want to say about sports? Do you, like, do you like sports? Yeah. Okay. Um, are you going to do sports at this festival? Yeah. What sports are you going to do? Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> You're not sure? What sports would you like to do? Football. Football? Is there football here today? I'm not sure. You're not sure? Okay, there's a field though. I saw somebody kicking a ball around and I guess that constitutes football. Any sport interesting sports on this side? We wanna do we wanna do some canoeing. Canoeing, okay. Yeah. We're okay. gonna have a canoe race. A canoe yeah. race? Is that possible? Yeah, just in that little river. Okay. Have, have you ever done any canoeing? Do you regard that as a sport? Yeah. Okay, would you like to canoe? Yeah. Would but you like to race canoes? Totally. Okay. This is, <laughs> there's not enough of a, of a really of a de debate here, though. I feel we're kind of missing the controversy. When we're talking about animals talking, we had a bit more controversy. Where's the controversial thing going to come from here? Lily. <laughs> I mean... Oh, the dead balls. That's, What's that? I've got a bit of controversy. Yeah. yeah. So one of these four people, I'm not going to name any particular Yeah, names, that's good. That's good. I keep forgot, it simple. Forgot the tent poles to oh, our tent oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. this time. Okay, it does happen. It happens. It happens to me. And, uh, yeah. um, and we're in here for the night now. And yeah. this is yeah. where we're camping can tonight. Can you not improvise poles? What, was what could we improvise? Okay, what? maybe we can come. We need some help over here. Um, we've got some people here. It's easily done. Any, anyone, we've all forgotten things. I forgot my duvet this time. I've, and I've forgotten ten poles before. But you can always improvise. I improvise with a sleeping bag instead. <laughs> but um, what about tent poles? What could... Uh, I mean, you're all stuck without tent What could you use as tent poles instead of tent poles that we could get from around here? Um, we have got Tace, we've got uh, Lily, we have got Dave, we've got Abby, we've got... Toby. Was it Terry? Toby. Toby, sorry. Yeah, yeah Toby. Uh, m my name is Fen. Fen. Fen, yes. yes. And yeah, I'm Steph. And Ollie, we got, and Tom. Tom. Okay, any, any help here? Any, what could these guys improvise tent poles? How could they... A snake with rigor mortis. A snake with, a snake with rigor mortis. Is that cruel, though? Is it cruel? Do you have to find a... No, 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 he's already, he's already dead. He's, he's yeah. got a died of natural causes. Okay. Has anyone seen any dead snakes around here? Especially thin ones. Very thin ones. What's that? I've heard some snakes. You've heard them? What do they sound like? <laughs> does that constitute? Does that constitute talking? Just to bring it back to the old yeah. subject. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But um, we're, we're looking for dead snakes. Or they, or they could use children. There's okay. loads of children. Yeah. I mean, earlier on we were hearing we were hearing that children need to find ways to earn money because they feel they feel that they've not got access to the flow of money. Maybe you could pay a child twenty p an hour to hold up your tent. And, I, and I'll put it up to twenty five p uh, between the hours of Night ten rates. and eight. Yeah. Okay. We could probably would you would you if you if you could would you get paid to hold up the tent all night no 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 how much would it would it what be your minimum rate a lot because yeah. i would want some sleep okay so you want some sleep okay, yeah. so what would be kind of like what sort of money we are we talking about um <laughs> yeah give uh, us some numbers put some down uh, what about an hour on fortnight per hour of being a tent pole okay okay <laughs> is, it, is that maybe like yeah. 50p 
pounds. Fifty like, pounds an hour. A bit. No, not an hour. Like the whole. For night. the whole night. Oh, for the whole night. Yeah. Set rate. Where do we sign? Oh, we can we, okay, can we sign you up tonight? Time. Let's do it. You yeah, fifty pounds. Yeah, yeah, that's can. what like. That's what temp pegs things are for to hold your tent up. Okay, so you think? So would you do it for temp for fifty pounds? You do it. I hold up the tent all night. I would probably do it. More. I okay, <laughs> okay. All right, okay. So maybe we've got a deal. We're making deals around this table of chat. Okay, we, 50 the problem pounds, 50 solved. pounds for the whole night, and we'll buy you some churros. Okay, yeah, okay, all right. Okay, so I think you've got a deal. No. What kind of tent is it? Okay, what kind of tent? It's only a very, very small one. You, you could even dog. sit down and hold it up if you really wanted to. <laughs> okay, well, this is great. We're doing... Yeah, okay. It's an easy job. It's an okay. easy job. So we've solved that problem. Where are we going to go from here? We, I mean, sh what do you think about this? Should young people... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call them young people rather than children. Um, should they be allowed to earn money? Should they have more access? to the world of money and jobs, do you think? Um, yeah, me, only if they want to. Oh, then, yeah, so it's more about, yeah. it, it's not being forced into it, it's about if you want to make yeah, extra money. Yeah, because then like, the parents mm. don't have to yeah. give them money. So. Come and have a seat on the table of chat. There's plenty of seats around. We have got Tace, we've got Lily, we've got Dave, we've got Abby, we've got Toby, we've got Finn, we've got no, 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 no. Steph, that's right, and Ollie and Tom and Mikey. What were you saying? Sorry, um, I was saying it doesn't exactly matter because if you're forced to do it, then that is literally slavery, no matter. Okay, that would be paid. so. So it doesn't matter who you are if you're forced to do a job. That's slavery. So all jobs are voluntary in a way. I, I do believe that jobs yeah. should be available for children. Okay, you think they should be? Yes. Yeah. What sort of jobs do you think young people, children sh could do? Uh, yeah. It depends what the companies offer. Okay, so it's about what the needs are. You think you could probably do any job that you're called to do? Or uh, well, uh, I think maybe like there should be like a website or something where yeah. you, you know you could choose which job. Okay, or so of like yeah. jobsforkids.com or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Okay, would that work? And what sort of jobs could? You idea. That yeah. is a really, really sound idea, yeah. Okay, we're, um, we're making money. We're no, it works well. It works well. We're, this is like a win. Make, yeah, this is some, coming up with some great ideas. Jobs, would you log on, Ollie, to jobsforkids.com? Um, yeah. Yeah? Okay, yeah. what jobs would you be looking for? Maybe... Hmm... What jobs could you okay. do? You're good at carrying things carrying and stuff, you're, yeah. you're good at being noisy yeah. and yeah. Okay, so you could be like a bird scarer maybe or something yeah. like that. <laughs> um, come and have a seat, you're sort of hovering yeah, there. You're all right, I'm okay. Yeah, hovering, you're hovering, you have a seat, sit down. No, it's a set of seats. You're going to draw everybody in, and if it is that you continue with this fantastic job, then I will draw other people in. Oh, yeah, well, I, well, well I, would, I will continue with the job. Maybe this is a job. It's raining outside, and it's not yeah. here, so I'm not being funny. But maybe this is a job we could get kids to do. Oh, yeah. Before you start making millions with my idea, yeah. you know, I, I kind of want... You, you want know. a cut? Yeah, exactly. Okay, what, I mean... <laughs> What, what sort of cut are you you talking about? Well, if I created it, then I get a lot. <laughs> I mean, isn't it? I mean, I mean, isn't it just anyone that this idea is really open to? It kind of got generated around the table, so it's whoever gets there first, whoever registers it first. <laughs> yeah, you're, I'm, you're, on you're go, I'm on GoDaddy right okay, now to yeah, see if jobs Okay, okay well, Tom's already thing. done it, so you talk to him. I'm not involved. You're gonna have to. Um, you're gonna have to speak, negotiate. Okay, so we're we're kind of making money. I mean, where do we want to go? With this? What what jobs can kids do? Do we want talk about other problems you've got anything else you forgot that maybe the kids could help out with watering the plants when you're away okay that would be a good job for That'd kids be good, yeah okay Cause yeah. 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 You, you've got to leave them in charge with like the key to your flat Do you, you you've got to be able to reach them? like the sink to get water like. okay what, they've got to have Steph, a final, thought, final thought before you go you're doing a brilliant job and it's great to talk well, that's, that's certainly true. I, I believe in that. Come and come have a seat on the table of chat. At the moment, we're talking about jobsforkids.com. We're starting a new website. Should kids, should kids be allowed to earn money? And if so, what kind of jobs could they do? Could your child do any, do any jobs? <laughs> could, could that baby actually be making money for you rather than draining you of cash? That's what we're talking about at the moment. Um, jobsforkids.com what, what kind of jobs watering plants we've got so far sweet taster we had a bit earlier on before any of you were you might have been here for that um, come on come on join don't be shy 
and we've got shelter as well which is a, seems to be a bonus right now this man here is mostly uh, um, um, okay so where do we want to go with this conversation do we, do we want to start a new topic do we want to carry on with the jobs for kids uh, uh, well h- how old do you think it should be to start aged because well yeah again that gentleman's baby mm. probably couldn't be doing any mm. jobs but mm. for example you yeah. probably I think you could probably work and get paid for okay, it okay well just turn the mirror around what job would you want to do then um I'm not entirely sure one hopefully that I'm capable of so uh, are there things that you think you're better at than adults not really no no okay yeah, I'm sure you are. there must be something that you're better at than adults um well building Building? No, he not be building. Build. Possibly, you could be do some building. Yeah. Uh, the, the Fortnite's rubbish. No one <laughs> okay. Play Fortnite. Fortnite. Is, is, is Fortnite, Fortnite over? Is Fortnite, is Fortnite over now? Is it done? Okay. I hope so. Okay. I hope it is. What, what don't you like about Fortnite? I just I don't like Fortnite. You, what, okay, why? It's just. Do you know what Fortnite is? It's okay. like. It's like okay, a okay, game. okay. Can we? Well, this has been. This is about the fourth time this is Fortnite has been mentioned so far today. So. Um, um, so we, can you, someone just explain what for? Okay, what's Fortnite? Just explain. It's it. just like a some of the interactive people. last man standing game where everyone chops stuff down and yeah. shoots people. Do you but do you agree with Toby that it's over? It's it's yes. I don't know. I've, I only played it a little bit. Yeah. Did you but not get? It's on your, it. it's on mobile devices now, which is yeah. meant that yeah. okay. everyone just plays it everywhere. Okay. So it's it's a little bit addictive, but it's it's Fortnite over. Is it yesterday? Today's news. Are we waiting for the new blockbuster game? That's what we're talking about at the moment. Do you play Fortnite? I don't know. Okay, <laughs> come and have a seat. Come and get involved with this. Okay, well, you, you, you can't. I'll tell you what, you can sit down. All right, we're all allowing you to sit down. Yeah. Yes. There we go. Let's give him a round of applause. Just for two minutes. Take the weight off your feet. There we go. You see, that's the. Um, so we've got uh, we've got Tom, we've got Taste, we've got Lily, we have got Dave, we've got Abby, we've got. Aiden. Aiden, we've got Toby, we've got Fen, what's your name? Got Liam. And Ollie, and my name's Mikey. At the moment, we're sort of, there's a few different subjects. Could a child do your job, do you think? Because basically, we're trying to find some. You say no. 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 Why not? That's my opinion. What do you want to do? I think. Uh, well, it's just. Uh, what do you have to do, and why, why couldn't a child do it? Could, they, could you get a child helper, perhaps? Be a runner. Yeah. A runner. Yeah. Okay. What would they do? What Go would they back run? And forth, send messages. Send messages. Okay. So they could. Messages might change, though. Okay. So, um, I guess kids have got more energy than adults, so they could run around, deliver messages. Would you do that as a job? Um, what like deliver messages to people? Yeah. I guess. Well, How would it work? There's, like, well, there's phones. Okay. Why not just text people? <laughs> Good question. Okay. Phones. Uh, would you run around? Would you? Would you deliver messages? Depends how good the payment is. Okay. What sort of money? What sort of money we're looking at here? What sort of money? Do, what sort chocolate. of thing? Chocolate. Chocolate. Okay. How about that? How about one chocolate per message. Would that work? I don't like chocolate. Okay. You don't like chocolate. <laughs> we've got we've got people that don't like chocolate. So, okay. Thank Final you. thought. I'm not going to let go of your hand. Final thought. Give me one. My chimney needs sweeping. Okay. That's no, it. I'm just going back to. Okay. The- yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, uh, are we in a new era where we suddenly get clean chimneys again, just like in the Victorian oh, right, times? Yeah. We've all got wood burners, don't we? We're all these kind yeah. of. Like, so kind of we the need class actually with chim- wood burner. We need chimney sweeps. We need chimney sweeps. That's okay. It. And you just the right size yeah. to go straight up. Would you clean the chimney? No. For money. Not even if they paid me the whole world. Really? Okay. Would you do any jobs? We're talking about jobsforkids.com. Hmm. Um, w- hmm. Would you do any jobs? One of the things that we've discovered, I'll just give you a little bit of context here, is that lo- a lot of the young people here have been complaining about the price of churros, of candle-powered boats, yeah. and other things here, and they don't have the money, the cash, the readies, to actually buy all this stuff. So... What about if they had access to, you know, jobs. to jobs that they could actually have suddenly afford all these things? And what sort of jobs could kids do? That's what we're talking about. You wouldn't be a, a chimney sweep, but are there any things that you could do, maybe, that an adult um, could do? Face painting. Face painting, okay. Could you, because we've got, um, what's it, glam up and a wave, face painting over there. Where I go. Yeah, that's where, but could you do a better job than them? Um, could you do a... Come, come and get involved in this. We, you, you, 
I'm part of that. Oh yeah, you're part of that as well. Okay, okay. Could you could you just employ? Uh, yeah, well he he does hair chalking already. Okay, so, so, yeah. so you've got. Does he get paid for that? Uh, yeah, he's always you do. And you sell artwork as well. Okay, don't so you it? sell. Okay, so you're already really making money. Okay, come and sit down. Don't be shy. <laughs> um, so okay, so so you're already actually getting involved in the in the creative side. Are kids more creative than adults? You think? Hmm. They're about the same. Same. About the same. Okay. It's diplomatic. Diplomatic. Very yeah. diplomatic. Okay. Where are we going to take this conversation? I feel we need a new subject. Um, where do you want to go with it? Well, I yeah. Think. Well, oh, uh, about the chimney thing. Yeah. The reason that's because that's why we don't have children to clean chimneys because mm -hmm. it's just not right, is it? That's why you should why have. Why is it not right? Because if you, they just. You get yeah. Do, uh, it's horrible. Okay. Well, why do we need to get children up there when we have perfect, machines. yeah, perfect, yeah. perfectly capable machinery? Of okay. So it's the same with the messages idea. We had the security man that said, "Oh, I want some kids to run around delivering messages." He could do that with a machine. Can you do face painting with a machine? Maybe then he could get rid of the kids. Uh, no, I don't think face painting would yeah. work with the machine. No, you, you can't need do that by you, you need to have a hand to control the head. And yeah, then, you know. Yeah, sort of. maybe like a double-handed yeah. machine. Maybe a robot could help yeah. them. Yeah, a robot still. might be able yeah. to do it. Okay. Um, give us a final thought, Fen. Uh, well, um, yeah. Uh, do you think children will be working more in the future? Ah, uh, yeah, I think they should work more yeah. in the future. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, they they should with the. What 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 did I make? <laughs> I forgot what I made. Just for kids. Yes, com. yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> if you actually please, just yeah. don't, don't create it. I'll create. It. Okay, well, I tell you what, I'm gonna hold off a bit. I'm not gonna get involved. Uh, is that your final thought though? What about the chimney sweeping? Should our our kids can not be they, not chimney sweeping as no, a job? No, it just yeah. Is that that's just wrong? Yeah, it's just not right. Yeah, they have okay. to be safe in good okay. conditions, like most jobs. Yeah. Now. Okay. So there's a health and safety element going on here. Health and safety very important. I disagree. Uh, yeah. I disagree that yeah. kids should be doing jobs because, yeah. like, yeah. Um, they yeah. already do loads of hard work at school. Yeah. So I think they should like start jobs at the age of 18. Okay. So no jobs before the age of 18. Oh, I don't yeah. Agree. But what about access to the cash? What about you know, when you need money, you could do to buy like stuff. small jobs, like um, mm. you know, like face painting and stuff. Okay, so little jobs, that's okay, but not big jobs, like yeah, like, uh, like I don't know. House stuff around the house, I think, yeah. could be useful. Yeah. For okay, sure, for kids okay. to do, yeah, picking right. up after themselves occasionally. What are the popular motifs at the moment for face painting? Uh, Today it's been really quiet so far. Yeah. We're one, uh, one butterfly, and then we're doing sort of, you know, yeah. things that are related to um, the theme of the festival, water-related stuff. Okay, water-related. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, uh, maybe any. I mean, hang on a sec. What's your name again? Sarah. Sarah's. Sarah needs to draw up some business. Would you? Go and get your faces painted in order to help. Washed off though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, tomorrow, yeah. tomorrow, because we don't, we want it to last all day. Okay. All does day. It, is it? Does it get washed off? I suppose yeah, it has yeah. to be. Yeah. Uh, okay. Give us final, final thoughts. Oh, oh. I have actually been thinking about this for a while, and yeah, I, I thought I had something, but I don't think I do. You don't think? Okay. Um, okay. Well, let me, I'm going to go around. Let's get final thoughts over here. Final thought. Don't real jobs for real kids. Real jobs for real. Kids. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. uh, I like jobs. Uh, yeah. Have you got a job? <laughs> I've got a job, yeah. yeah. I yeah. work in a hospital. Yeah. Could the kids be doing that job? Yeah, you can clean up bedpans and everything. Okay, I mean, I mean, would that help solve, because you don't have to pay children as much money, would that help solve some of the... Oh, I think, I think you'll do really good in the yeah. hospital. Okay. Hospital could be a place yeah. where children work. Final thought? Sebastian is a lobster. Okay, lobster. Okay, that's been bugging you. Um, Taste the final thought. Have you come up with anything yet? You, you, you know what? You're going to have to come back later on. You're going to have to come back with a final thought. Okay. I think that, yeah. I think that kids shouldn't do jobs yet because, yeah. like, they yeah. they they already get like paid for cho for chores and stuff. Hang on a sec, we've got some potential new punters. Come and have a seat on the table of chat. Um, this is Talkie Oki. At the moment we're talking about should kids do jobs? 
just to make a little bit of extra money. What's your name again? Sydney. Sydney says no. Ollie says maybe. Um, could you be making money from your kids? That's what we're talking about now. Uh, okay, we should, maybe we should move on to a different subject. Uh, where, where should we go with this? S Sydney, Ollie? What? Why, why, why should films have age ratings? Okay, have you got a particular film in mind? Um, like the James Bond films. Yeah. Okay, what is the age rating on the James Bond film? Um, either 12 or 15. Should films have age ratings? What about James Bond? Surely kids should have access to James Bond. You're saying yes? Okay, maybe you've got a bit of a agree. What, what do you think, Ollie? Age ratings for films? It depends. On what? It depends on if it's like horror yeah. Okay, so you're saying some, some films should have age ratings, like horror. Yeah, like but action movies. Action movies without blood should be like PG yeah. or something. Should kids have age ratings? That's what we're talking about now. Come and have a seat on the table of chat. Get a couple of minutes. Okay, do you want to come? Do you wanna, oh, okay. Maybe, maybe not. We're here all day. Um, so James Bond action films shouldn't have age ratings. Ollie, have you got a view on this? Um, well... I have no idea. Okay, have you ever <laughs> seen have you ever seen a film that you that is actually above the age rating that your age? The age rating's above your age. Yeah. Okay. Did you think that that did do you regret seeing that film? No. No. Do you think that it was a good experience? Yeah. Okay. Um, we're talking about age ratings for films. Should films have age ratings? Something like James Bond, shouldn't that be available to everybody? Yeah. So I remember getting up uh, after having nightmares and going in to watch television yeah. with my mum and dad, mm. and it was the 1970s, and yeah. they'd be watching Hammer House of Horror. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then I'd have nightmares for about the next six or seven years. Okay. So it's like the thing, so the thing is we're seeing things and seeing violence is that you yeah. can't undo it. If you see something that's really horrific, you've got okay. that picture in your mind. Mine forever. So Ollie maybe got away with it when he saw this overage film, but if you see something that sticks in your mind, the horror will be there yeah. in your dreams for many, many years. I so mean, like, I mean like horror films should have age ratings because they're really scary, yeah. but action films without well, blood should be like there's PG. something really scary in the action film. Like then they should um like have little kids DVDs where they um, like cross out okay, all the bad so parts. Okay, so edit, edit out. Come and have a seat on the table of chat. We've got Sydney, we've got Ollie, I'm Mikey. Your name doesn't have to end in here. Yes, two minutes. Come on, there's no, you don't have to stay. There's no, um, you're not signing a contract. Um, okay, you have to, well, this is a perfect way just to say, oh, sorry, I got waylaid a little bit, having a conversation to some people around a round table. So, Sydney, Ollie, I'm Mikey, what's your name? I'm Helen. And I'm Marky. Marky. Okay, come and, come and get involved in us. You can bring, you can bring your drink down if you want to. Which is, should, should films have age ratings? That's what we're talking about at the moment. Yes. You say yes? Yes. Okay, why? What about something like James Bond? Sydney wants to watch James Bond, but it's... You can watch it. Yeah, yeah okay. I can watch it at the moment. What do you mean at the moment? Well, like, I can watch it right now because um, yeah. I've got, like, the full DVD set of Okay, them. so you've got a DVD, but what is the age rating on that DVD? Um, I think it's 15. Oh, right, okay. How old are you? Um, nearly eight. Okay. So we've got a situation where Sydney's watching a 15 film. He's eight years old. Is he ready... We had um, Sarah earlier on saying that she was watching Hammer House of Horror as a kid and it entered her dreams for many, many years. She said seven years. I don't know where she got that figure from. And what, I mean... It's the violence. It's the yeah. violence. Yeah. That's that. Yeah. I mean, I suppose you see that on the news as well. You yeah. both watch the news. Yeah. And that's really real. But James Bond is a bit more like, and this is how you do it. Yeah. So you think it's kind of instructive violence in a way? Yeah. Okay, Marky, have you got a view on this? 
I think the uh, the James Bond is very different from things like Hammer House of Horror, which is yeah. clearly fantasy. So yes, yeah. I remember watching The House That Bled. I think it was Whoa. as a child. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and there was there was like all bloods coming out of the pipes and yeah. things. But yeah. that's obviously not. Did that scar you for life? It, it, well, it, it, it yeah. certainly influenced me. I think. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Hence Oops. my serial killer upbringing. Yeah. No. Um, yeah. But yeah. but yeah, no, it's very different. I think than watching uh, a James Bond movie. I mean, do you think in a way it's it's kind of better to watch that, something like a horror film than a James Bond movie? Or do you think the James Bond is, is less... Because I think what Sydney's arguing is James Bond action films are kind of okay, but horror isn't. Yeah, no, I, I'd agree. Well, the James Bond stuff is interesting because sometimes it's a bit like... You guys never saw Play Away, but Play Away had, yeah. it was a children's programme, but it had some very adult jokes in it. Right. But actually, as a kid, you didn't know that was what they were talking about most of the time, so that was okay, fine. Okay, so you can have James like Bond's a double... a bit like that, double meaning. Double meaning, okay. Double entendre. Okay, d- double entendre. Should films have age ratings? That's what we're talking about now. Definitely. <laughs> what about James Bond? Sydney's saying, why shouldn't he be allowed to ja- watch James Bond? He's watched, he's got, you've got the DVD, what DVD have you got? Um, I've got um, Casino Royale, Quantum oh, yeah. of Solace, Skyfall Inspector. What, what, is, it, what is a Quantum of Solace? Um, it's like... Um, what does that mean? You're sad for a long time. Oh, does it? Okay. I yeah, think yeah. that's what it means okay. anyway. Yeah. Uh, What's that? A quantum is yeah. a... It's just the unit of something. It's like an indivisible unit of something. So okay. It's like an atom. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Just so like a, a tiny, qu- tiny amount. A, a quantum amount. of solace may not be very much. Okay, you know? just a tiny little bit of solace. What is solace? It's like, sadn- it's like sadness. Okay, solace. Is solace sadness? Yes, but he is quite sad in that one. Yeah. And he's even sadder in Skyfall, really, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, how did James Bond get so sad? Uh, James Bond was always sad. It was, was just he? that they made him kind of be a bit happier yeah. or a bit sillier when they had, like, Roger Moore doing okay, it. Okay, Roger Moore, yeah. maybe well, with When that you get a proper actor like Daniel Craig. <laughs> yeah, okay, so Daniel proper Craig, then. in a way, represents the... Sean Connery. Yeah. The Sean Connery of the 20th century. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, where are we going to go with this? Because should we talk about films in general? Should we talk about some other films? Where, where we're going to go is yeah. to the car park and help our friends move their stuff in. Okay, but, what, uh, what, what's, what's that all about? What are you moving? Could you get some kids to help you move and pay uh, them? Well, you see that? The difficulty is, is yeah. we don't have young people, yeah. <laughs> so we have to go do it ourselves. Okay. <laughs> but could there be, I mean, what, one of the things we're talking about, sorry, just before you go, one of the things we were talking about earlier on, and Ollie will back me up on this, is about should children be allowed to work? And maybe you could have a porter service. Yeah. Come have a seat on the table of chat. Yeah. Um, you can have a porter service where you've got kids to actually help move the stuff yeah. um, for, you know, for the price of a churro or something like that. Would that work? The churros, the churros are five pounds, so I think that's a bit too much for you, moving okay, stuff. Okay, would you do it for half a churro? I'd do it for like um, three pounds or something. Three pounds, okay. So we've got to talk, we're talking numbers here. Um, um, thanks, for, have you got a final thought? Um, it's good t- for young people to go and do a job. Okay, so you think it's a quite a good thing, okay. Yeah, I think so, I think, I think so too. Helen did um, working in spa and packing potatoes and things yeah. like that. I did the paper round and yeah. stuff. But yeah, well, it's good to have a bit of What kids income. start working, do you think? I think as long as it doesn't affect your education, then, mm, yeah. yeah, I mean, you can do yeah. stuff at the weekend. Or yeah, but well, at what, what age? You've kind of avoided the question. Uh, yeah. I think, certainly like a paper round, 12. Yeah. 12, yeah. okay, 12. Been working. What's that? Ollie's already been working what today. What have you been doing? So, um, I help on the candle-powered steam board. Okay. And I was cutting up all the wax this okay. morning. Well, we've had some speculation on those candles. Some people have been saying, some of the young people have been saying they're too expensive, that they should be £3 rather than £7. Is it paying for your education? Well, they are quite hard yeah. to make. Okay, they're quite hard to make. Okay, interesting. Okay, okay so um, we're, we're here all day, so do come back. Um, okay, so... Um, no, at some point I'm just going to put the tarpaulin back on this and just go out and drink some lagers and have fun. Come and have a seat on the table of chat. We have got... That's you, yes, you! Um, we have got... 
um, Lara and Robin and Ollie and Sydney and I'm Mikey and what's your name? Johnny. Johnny? Come back afterwards. Um, would come have a seat. What's your name? George. George. Um, uh, and come and have a seat. There's no age limit here. Um, and, and yeah, you can come have a seat. At, at the moment, we're sort. Of, well, there's a few subjects on the table. There's one of the things is about age limits, uh, both in watching films and what kind of jobs you're allowed to do. Should this all starts actually from your Turo's question, because what some of the young people have been saying is, we should be allowed to work, and then we'd have the money to buy the churros. You do work in a yeah. star. Um, uh, Satu style. Uh, do you get money for it? Yeah. yeah. Do you spend it on churros? No, we, we when we did it at that our other ride. festival, we we spent it on other rides. Okay. Okay. So it's already happening. This this kind of scenario of children working is ready. Have you got a job? No. Jo no. Yeah. Okay. Would you like to have a job? Yeah. What sort? What do you think you'd be good at? Uh, probably just working at stores and. Yeah. Shops. You think you could work in a shop? Any particular kind of shop? Like supermarket. You could work in a supermarket, okay. Um, so I think you're saying, Sydney, that you, even though you've got a job helping with the face painting, you don't think young people should really should be working until they're 18? Um, but I think that because, like, I mean, like, hard jobs, like, you know, yeah. um, like the chimney sweeps and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. yeah, I think that should be for, like, in fact, I don't think 18-year-olds could do it because they yeah. they wouldn't fit up the chimneys. Okay. Um, so obesity. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there's it, there's it, obesity it, issues which right, are, which okay. are so restricting are, chimney sweeps. Oh, are our kind of children eating too much? Is that the problem? Is that why they're no longer sweeping chimneys? Pro possibly, and a lack of chimneys generally. Yeah. I think. Lack of, could they be sweeping out other kind of heating devices? Like, could they be, for example, a, a plumber came round to. Like empty all the gunk out of my central heating system, and that cost me about 150 quid. Could a kid do that for cheaper? George will do it. Uh, George will do it for 99 really? quid next time. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, so this is what we're talking about. Um, come and have a seat on the table of chat. We're talking about child labour. Where are you going? What did they say? Volunteering. Volunteering. Come volunteer here. We need. Uh, we've got some volunteers. Ollie, final thought. Um. I don't think children should be allowed to do chimney sweeping. Yeah. What about other jobs? Well, it depends how big the job is. Yeah. Because... Big jobs or little jobs? What should the children be doing? The, the smaller ones? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, little jobs. Such yeah. as? Give us an example. Tidying rooms and that. Okay. Tidying. But could you sort of export that service and do it for other people's houses, not just your own? You could go and do grass cutting for people. Okay. Go mow people's... Do you do that already? Okay. Interesting. Okay. Are you off as well, Sydney? Final thought? Um, I think that kids shouldn't do the like hard jobs like yeah, okay you know yeah um yeah okay no tough jobs okay so we've got most of the people here are actually doing jobs Sarah have you got have you got a view on this oh no she's gone again okay right where are we going to go with this subject I think I feel we've done the child labour thing we've kind of done it to death so to speak where do we where do we go what are the other big subjects here today at Deer Shed what are the other things we could talk about George have you got any thoughts water. what's that water what do you want to say about water uh why is there a lot of it coming out of the sky? Is that yeah. it? Just Just water, aren't we? Yeah. 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 It's not rained for weeks and weeks and weeks, and we arrived yeah. at the festival. Yeah. Thirty minutes after we arrived, it starts chucking it down. Yeah. Okay. Are you a little bit annoyed about? Um, that? it's just unfortunate. It's right here, right now. But yeah. I know that in the the greater good, the bigger picture, we need the rain. So. Okay. We need this water. We must be selfish. Are you happy that it's raining? No. No one. Go on the rides, and it's raining, so you can't. Yeah. So okay. You can't go on the rides because it's raining. Yeah. You can, but the seats will be soaking. Is there any water rides you could go on? No. No? Okay. I want to go on the hell skelter in the rain. Ca what? Isn't this water oh, yeah. gonna. We've got that to kayaking. Kayaking? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you've already got time for that. Okay. Is, is rain ruining this festival? That's what we're talking about at the moment. Say no? No. We were no. playing football in the rain and we were skateboarding in the rain. Okay, so you, you're not scared of a bit of rain. Come and have a seat on the table of chat. Don't be shy, we have got, um, let's give them a round of applause, come on, let's, have, let's not be, 
there, there might have been a, a fair share of rainfall, but there's not been enough applause, I don't think, so far here at Deer Shed. I think we could have way more applause. Um, so at the moment, I, I don't know, we were talking a lot, we've talked a lot about child labour, should <laughs> children work and what sort of jobs should they do? Um, would that allow them to pay for the churros? Um, but there's a there's a few other subjects. We, let me just have quickly do a round of names. Uh, what's your name? Betty. And Sue. Sue. And what's it again? Helen. And Andy. Yeah. George. Robin. Lara. And I'm Mikey. Um, where are we going to go with this conversation? Do we want to talk? Do we want to talk more about the churros. the churros? You want to talk about churros? We, 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 we were to. Um, we, oh, we had Ollie earlier. No, it wasn't Ollie. It was Sydney earlier on who said that there shouldn't be age ratings for films because he was eight years old, but he felt himself to be capable to watch a 15 film. Not uh, yet. Watch, yeah. I could probably watch 15. Yeah. You think that you're you you're yeah. well capable. So what do you think about the age, the film age rating thing? Well, I think that. I think 18 should exist, yeah. but the 15 shouldn't. The is the 15 a bit pointless? I don't know. What do you think on this side? What do you, what do you think? So, so my godson, yeah. he used to watch very grown-up films and yeah. violent films yeah. when he was quite young, but he couldn't watch up. He couldn't get past the first three minutes. It would make him cry. Really? Yeah. So he actually found the older films easier to watch than the Disney films. Right, okay. Okay, so... Yeah, I mean, why, why, why do people cry in films when they watch films? Oh, oh I, I, yeah. I'm sad. I, I cry loads. Yeah. I'm a real softy. Yeah. 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 You, okay. Does it, does that make it a bad film? No, it just makes it, it like makes it emotional. Like happy, sad. Yeah. Yeah, happy sad. It seems real. Okay, so it's actually good to cry in films. Yeah. Okay, why? Because it makes it feel real. Okay, so it makes it's it more really real. Into the movie, like okay. you, like. Okay. I don't know how to it. Do you ever cry in films? Oh, no, too, too, too tough a question there. Too soon. Too, too, soon, soon. too soon. I mean, uh, what, I mean, do you ever cry in films? Uh, yeah, sometimes, but I would never, I would never tell anybody. Really? Or, or let them see. <laughs> okay. Be because that, that's the whole male thing, isn't it? You're yeah. not allowed to show your emotions. Okay. Um, so so this is quite therapeutic, actually. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, um, it's, a, it's a very, uh, it's a very tearful moment. We're talking about crying in films. Uh, but I'm 11. What do you? I mean, what do you think about boys crying in films? Should boys be a little bit more? I think it's uh, funny when boys cry in yeah. films. Yeah. Okay. You think it's funny? Okay. I mean, do boys? Should boys be crying as much as girls? No, I think girls are sappier. Okay. But it's a bit sexist. So okay. Well, this is the this is kind of like where we're going with this. I mean, what do you think about crying in films? I mean, not, there's a, so many questions here. First of all, why is it make it a good film or a real film, as you were saying, when? Um, when you cry in a film and, and why is it that I, I girls are crying more than boys? I more? don't like watching sad films it just yeah. makes me really really sad and, and, yeah. and I just don't I don't like it yeah, okay so it's going a bit too yeah. far sad films but you might cry happy crying uh, okay it could be something really happy like it, when the boy meets uh, yeah, the girl yeah, and they're not going to get together enough, and then they get yeah, together and it's, enough, oh, it's just if it's wonderful a happy film, if it's a happy you can cry when, it, yeah, when you're but happy as well if it's really sad it makes me feel really sad okay I can't watch films with dogs in because the dog ends up dying in the end why does why that happen? We're talking about, do you ever cry in films? We're talking about crying in films at the moment. Um, um, do, doesn't, maybe, I don't, doesn't want to go there. We're talk, have you ever cried in a film? Um, no. No? Um, does it make it a good film if you cry in a film? Not really. Not really? Come and have a seat on the table of chat. We're talking about films. Have you ever cried in a film? Um, definitely sadder. Cartoon film. Can you think of a sad cartoon film? Uh, up. Up. Yeah. Okay. Why is that sad? Because uh, what's his name? The old his guy. Wife dies. Wife dies yeah. Okay. So, oh, it's so sad. But I mean, why, I mean, why are we watching this stuff? But you see that? Up. Yeah. You need the sad bit at the beginning because then you understand why he becomes friends with a little boy and why right. he goes off with the balloons and why that. Yeah. So you have to be sad at the beginning to yeah. feel what he's thinking. <laughs> okay. Have you ever cried in a film? That's what we're talking about at the moment. Come tell us about it. Two minutes. What's that? She's got to go do yoga. She's she's do you ever cry when you do yoga? Only when she's late. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Okay, so so uh, I mean, 
where, where do we want to go with this? There's, there's a few different threads of different ways we can go with this. We scary films? Scary I film. don't like scary films. I don't like scary films, I don't like scary yeah. films either. But I mean, yeah. it's, in a way, it's the same thing. Why are we watching this? Just to get scared. Exactly, that's why I don't watch them. Because they like, terrify I me. I just like happy films that make you feel good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can you give us an example? Oh, uh, Pretty Woman. Um, oh, what else is there? I would say with Pretty Woman. I think that's, that's <laughs> good. Um, I mean, why are we we're scaring ourselves? We're making ourselves cry why are we doing this to us I think because we like to go outside of our comfort zone with emotions and because it's not real life you can have a good cry or a good laugh yeah um, and then you, it's back to reality again isn't it so okay. we've, we've got those emotions yeah. we have to get out of ourselves and yeah we, we do it in the privacy of the cinema maybe. so we can have some fear and some some I don't know what you call it some sadness so the sad uh, films probably makes you feel good because your life's not that bad <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. You can sort of cry and then go, oh, actually, it's just a film. It doesn't matter too much. Yeah, yeah. the boat that I'm on hasn't actually sunk. Yeah. And, and, and it's fine. Yeah. Other yeah. planes crashed or, yeah. yeah. So we do this in order to just... Is it like, in a way, like yoga for our emotions, like exercise for our emotions? Is that why we do it? We can get deep here. We can get deep. Yeah, uh, exercise definitely helps you. The yeah. endorphins. Yeah, I love exercise. Yeah. We're talking, about, we're talking about not literal exercise, but mental exercise. Yeah. But it's the same sort of. I think yeah, the idea is that we cry. I mean, you don't. You only see happy films, so it doesn't relate to you. But those people that go, that scare themselves or that make themselves sad in in the cinema, why are they doing it? Is it are they exercising? Are they practicing being sad in real life so they don't have to do it with a real tragedy? That's the thing. Perhaps in, in uh, caveman days, we went and, yeah. and killed a tiger. We we had extreme emotions. Yeah. People died all the time because of no hospitals. So yeah. maybe we have to experience those things in modern day life because we're cosseted from all these things normally. Okay. Most mostly, not always, obviously, because yeah. horrible things happen to people all the time. But but not as many horrible things as used to happen. No, to no, us no. Back in the day. No, that's right. Or okay. like an episode of Casualty when you can okay. you can just see it coming. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so, um, do you agree with this? What's your name again? Sorry. Uh, it's Andy. Do you, do we agree with Andy? This conjecture that we, in a way, it's a kind of practice because we live in such a safe world now, where we don't have to go and kill. T- What's that? Bye bye. Oh, give us a final thought. Uh. Do you, do you Watch agree? what you want. No, I think that yeah. the age restriction should be that because what if you're like six and there's loads of swearing in a film and you just start swearing at people? Okay. Yeah, but sometimes, sometimes, like, they rate them too high, so, like, some films aren't even that bad. And they're just like a, like yeah. a random age, I don't know, okay. yeah. And what about the crying and scaring yourself in film? I like scaring myself. She's terrified of stuff like that. Is it because is it practice for if you ever come across a tiger or a lion? Exactly. You well, agree with that? I don't think it's that realistic unless you watch it in 3D. Okay. Yeah. So watching it in 3D is maybe a little bit more practice than simply watching it in 2D. Um, perhaps that. Perhaps. A, thank you. Bye bye. Um, um, do. What do you think on this side? Is it practice for real life, but we don't really need it anymore because we don't live that dangerous? So should our life be more dangerous? No. 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 You think it's dangerous enough, is it? Safer. What, yeah. what could be made safer, do you think? Uh, cars. Um, mm. How would you make cars safer? Uh, Oops. I'm not sure. But I like having... Remove the driver. So, yeah, so because often crashes are driver's fault, so okay. the driver's not... Is Surely if you had no driver, there'd be more crashes, wouldn't there? Yeah. So, or you could have, like, in the future, you could have... Yeah. Or, yeah. Or you know, cars driving themselves. Okay, car... Would you trust a car that drove itself more than a human-driven car? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I think, no, I, think, I think all cars would have to have no drivers rather than some cars with yeah. and some without. Really? Yeah, because like it's, like it's either got to be a machine system or a, or a human system. So when you so put you the can't two together. Mix the two together. I think it's dangerous. Okay. I think yeah. All cars should be taken off the roads. Okay. Because they're not as safe. What about the owners of those old cars? I mean, should they get a new car in replacement or what? Yeah, yeah. What's there? Old cars worse. They okay. didn't get a brand new car. They don't, so they get something towards them. Do you yeah. agree with this? That old cars should be taken off the road. Yes. Why? Because they're not like they're not highly equipped as mm. the newer cars. Mm. What have newer cars got? They've got um, more 
ke Koreans. Um, safety features. Safety features. Safety okay. Features. I mean, do, what do you think about this? Would you would you prefer a car that drove itself? Would you do you think that well, ca- so old I, cars are dangerous? So I got a new car three months ago, and it's one yeah. that can park itself. Yeah. I've not used the parking thing yet because I don't trust. You don't trust it to park? No, because it's a leap of faith to say, right. get don't into that space yourself. that looks really small. Yeah. Park yourself. Mm. Yeah, you see, I don't trust it. Mm. But but I do agree with Andy's point. Yeah. It should be all or nothing because it's the people that are a problem on the roads, okay. not the cars. Okay. Cars don't kill people. People do, apparently. Uh, no, I... I think that on little country back roads, like on the way into the festival, yeah. that's still quite sort of human, human can have a good input yeah. there, but mm. on a motorway where mm. everybody's going the same way, mm. they can probably put mm. some technology in the road that talks to the cars and things. Yeah. So different roads will probably have automatic cars on before other roads. Okay, so in a way, you talk, when you get onto the motorway, you'll be like, just turn the car off, put your feet up and just kind of like yeah, but relax. Yeah, already a thing in like cruise control. Yeah, it's already happening. Yeah. Okay. Just hold the steering wheel. Yeah. You just press it and you just sit there and it does it yourself. Yeah. Okay. Do you trust that more than a human? Yeah. You do? Okay. <laughs> okay. Do you, do you trust uh, cars to drive themselves? That's what we're talking about at the moment. Yeah. No, I definitely think the car is better. Because yeah. her dad, my husband, mm-hmm. drives far too close to the cars in front. Yeah. But the cruise control on my car forces you to be further right. back, so you have a much better Otherwise stopping distance. Right. Yeah. Okay. So in that case, he's much safer in yeah. the car if the car's driving. Okay. But there was somebody in America who trusted a car too much. Yeah. They had like a big what they call Winnie Bago. Mm-hmm. Mm. And they put the cruise control on and then went in the back to make a cup of tea. Yeah. Crashed it and tried to sue Winnie Bago because mm. they'd not said you still have to steer. Yeah. I mean yeah. that's ridiculous. Absolutely okay. ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> Come around and say on the table chat, would you trust the car to drive itself? Don't be shy. Um what, what, what I mean, would you trust a, a computer operated talkie table more than a human one? Mm. I don't, um um and if so, you know, will, will, the, will the computers be doing all the jobs, not just driving? Will they start to... Computers just can't do jobs like farming. Yeah. Do you well, like cattle, handling cattle? Yeah. Computers can't couldn't get a, do that. A, 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 comp- a robot farmer. A robot cowboy. Like yeah. no. If a computer Mac functions, yeah. then it all goes wrong. Right. So, like, so it's, it's a big disaster. Yeah. Whereas if a human makes a mistake, they can easily cover it up. Okay, so um, come have a seat on the table of chat. We're talking about uh, really. It's about, we're talking about the future. We're talking about can cars drive themselves. Um, we're talking about um, could you have a robot farmer, for example? Um, could, I mean, you you look a little bit cyborg as well. <laughs> so, um, what's your name? Harvey and Rachel and we have got George we've got Andy we've got Sue and Betty Um, and I'm Mikey Um, and the right moment we're talking about self-driving cars we started talking about self-driving cars they're safer but um, you don't trust the car you don't trust the car yeah I've been in one it came I work at a university and it came for a look around and it was very exciting what you mean the car came by itself to check around the university Some humans brought oh right, okay okay but I didn't I go to... oh I'm curious about what's happening N- here. no the... <laughs> hang on hang on I want a final thought from you before you go okay final thought final thoughts about computers running the world um think they should run the world because otherwise yeah. if they malfunction it cannot go wrong. Okay, but doesn't that happen anyway? Doesn't don't people make mistakes? Yeah, but it might be more often because if one goes wrong then it could spread. Okay, so if computers make a state mistakes it could be way more catastrophic. The virus. The virus. Yeah, and that could affect but all the computers. Can't humans get viruses as well though? Yeah, but then there's other people to like just quickly do the jobs. Okay, but are there not other computers to well, you could have, like, infected. backup computers. Yeah, you could have backups. Okay, so this is what we're talking about at the moment. This world, future world of robots, are you looking forward to it? So you could go to the pub without having to worry about getting home? There's, there's certain things, like, I'm looking forward to when a robot can cut my lawn, because mm. that's a real that's practical good. benefit, but I'm not sure I want a robot dentist well, Can't you get a child to do that? Uh, like wait, well, yeah, he's too expensive. Too expensive, yeah. I see. Will robots take over the world? That's what we're talking about here. 
Uh, you say yes, come and join and come and get involved. You say no, Harvey. No. No, you don't think so. Why not? Well, I think because uh, they mostly make from and they pretend. They're more mostly pretends. Yeah. That, okay, so they're not even that real. No. Okay. What do you What do you think? Um, I work in technology, so yeah. I'm a big fan of anything yeah. like that. I mean. And there's a few things that have come up here with the right. We don't really trust them. But they're made by humans, ultimately. Yeah. Do we trust we humans? Yeah. Oh well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Future robots will be made by robots. Robots will be made by other yeah, robots. Yeah, but the robots, but the robots that make those robots will be made by humans. Okay, so robots might be making robots, but the robots that make the robots will be well, made by humans. You can get rainbow robot farmers. Yeah. If you make them. Okay, so you could make a robot father that could father other robots. Yeah. Okay. I mean, what about a robot? But we're, t we're actually talking about robot farmers rather than robot fathers. What, um, what about a robot farmer? Could you, you work in technology? Is it possible to have a robot farmer? I don't see why not. You can have robotic machine machinery plowing the fields and that kind of but thing. But what about animal husbandry, like looking after the cows, for example? Well, we don't want cows. You could have a rainbow farmer. A rainbow farmer? Yeah. How do you farm rainbows? Uh, he does paint them rainbow. Okay. So, I mean, I guess we've got the right weather. Well, we've got half of the ingredients for a rainbow here. But could you actually farm, right? You, you work in the world of technology, and you've also got a rainbow kind of thing, motif going on with your face painting. Could you, could you farm rainbows? Could you create a technology to actually farm rainbows? I think you'd have to ask a scientist and not a technologist for really? that kind of question, yeah. Okay, what's the difference? I have no idea. He <laughs> doesn't. Mm. Mm. Well, you could get a you can get a hose pipe and a and a torch. And, yeah, and a hose pipe and a torch. Okay, are you a scientist? No, 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 no. Just a, I'm just a keen amateur. Okay. Yes. Um, okay, you're a scientist. Okay, we're talking about science here. It's so, come and have a seat on the table, chat. I mean, it's, this is by the way, this is not the science corner or anything like that. This is the talk talk corner. We just happen to have strayed upon the subject of science. I don't want to tread on the toes of the science tent or anything like that. But nevertheless, we are talking about it here. I mean. Um, we're talking about farming rainbows. We're talking. You've got an idea to do it with simply a torch and a hose pipe. Could that work? Torch and a hose. You you don't you're, I, you're I skeptical. Don't know I did not. Do you know need? This. You might need sun rays. Yeah, sun rays. Yeah, but that, that's okay. Not sun. Could you? Could, we're talking about farming rainbows. Could you farm rainbows? Come and have a seat on the table of chat. We have got Andy, we've got George, we've got Harvey and... Rachel. And Rachel, of course. Come and guess. That's you. Come and join in. I'm Mikey. Um, um, I don't know. So we've got one bike. We're watching him playing football. Getting okay. Okay. We're going um, to have to disappear, I think. Okay, I didn't realise you were doing that. I didn't realise that. that was what was going on here. Okay, give us a final thought. Um, be nice if it stopped raining yeah. and the sun would come out and we could have a real rainbow. I mean, I know you're a technologist and not a scientist. <laughs> Is there a way to, should, could we have rain preventing technology at festivals? No, we need rain. We haven't had rain for weeks. I need my flowers to grow in my garden. So we, know, we mustn't complain about the rain. But couldn't, couldn't you have rain that just rained on the weekdays and not on weekends? The best thing is, if you get rain and sun, you get a rainbow. Okay, yep, yep. Okay, we've got, as we said, we've got half <laughs> the ingredients. So all yep. we need is the sun now. Yes. Exactly, Tomorrow. good point. Okay, final thought, George? Um, think that farming robots will exist in the future? N never. Well, maybe like far in the future, but like for cows, I don't think they will exist. You think, exist. especially cow, animal husbandry cows, you don't think you could get a... they have driving like tractors and driving combines now, because we have our combine drivers, so... Yeah. Uh, well, you can ha you can you have robotic milking machines already. Yeah. Okay, so you've kind of you're starting the process of robotizing. Yeah, but you still need human input to judge the yeah. the husbandry and the, yeah. the animal health and all that sort of thing. Okay, so, yeah. uh, you don't think a, do you think a robot could do it in the future? Uh, the technology is definitely assisting with these yeah. um, with these activities, but humans have got a massively important part to play. So in a way, it's more like the technology is assisting us rather yeah. than actually. Um, rather than actually 
uh, taking over completely. Yeah. Okay, maybe that's the way it's going to go. I think it should be, yeah. Okay. Definitely. Interesting. Cool. Right. Okay, thanks. Yeah, thanks very yeah. much. Or, yeah. Harvey. I think... Yeah. Uh, farmer robots are real. Yeah. If they make them, and mm. I bet they'll be good for the environment. Why? Why do you think they'd be better for the environment, a robot farmer? Uh, so they can pull out more vegetables for the people. Okay, so they'll, they'll maybe be better at getting the vegetables out a bit quicker. But why would that be better for the environment? I think it causes less air pollution. And okay, okay, okay. The, yeah, and yeah. they make them without diesel electric robots. Okay, you, okay so electric rather than maybe the diesel tractor. Come over see on the table of chat. We're talking about robot farmers. Um, it's not a popular subject, I have to say. But it might be, you know, it, I don't know. Maybe it's the weather, I don't know. We need to come up with a compelling... The you don't think so? You think I, it's a subject? I, I think it's because they want to, like, get in a big place and watch, get some beer and get okay. and watch some music. So maybe if we had more beer... I've actually only brought two beers with me today, so maybe I needed to have brought more beer. That would... Two, yeah. Can I just say? Yeah. Paul McCartney apparently played for aeroplanes to disperse clouds so there would be no rain at his set in Glastonbury about ten yeah. years ago. Did it work? Uh, there was no rain okay. at that, that particular okay. point in time. Should we be using that kind of technology to disperse? I know that Rachel, you said we need the rain, but do we need it today when we haven't had it for such so many weeks? Do we actually need it today? Yes. You say yes. Yeah. Today because is the best the day. The flowers are all dying. Yeah. Okay. And the grass is brown, and and we all get too hot. But now we're nice and cool. We're certainly not getting too hot right now. Well, I'm not anyway. I I kind of dress for a more. This that's us. Um, this one's the BBC. It's not quite BBC, but we will. Where's my? Where's my? We will put it onto this website. There we are. Um, so where are we going to take this conversation? How are we going to grow this conversation? That's my question. Yeah, yeah. I think we can grow it by yeah. rain yeah. and robot farmers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, well, it's worked so far. Look, we've got a new customer. This is Talkie Okie. It's a pop-up talk show. At the moment, we're talking about rain. We're talking about robot farmers. And we're talking about... Um, should Deer Shed Festival be investing in technology to stop it from raining? Rachel says no. Harvey says let it no. Rain, let it rain. Ha they're very happy that it's raining. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what's your name? Mike. Mike. We've got Harvey, we've got Rachel, I'm Mikey. Um, and at the moment, yeah, I don't know, we're just trying, I don't know, we just, I feel we're, we talked a little bit about robot cars or robots taking over the world. We've kind of come to this kind of halfway position that robots are going to assist us but they're not actually going to take over they're just going to help us make our jobs easier I in a way how they, know they make robots how do they make robots how do they make i think they get loads of cogs and metal yeah and like find some dead eyeballs and put mm. them on them <laughs> okay so cogs and metal and dead eyeballs is how you make a robot did you know that mike no absolutely not no that's okay. a new one to me okay yeah um <laughs> I'm an engineer by trade. Yeah, oh, really? So, I mean, maybe you'll be, you know, you'll be... Oh, hang on, hang on. Let me get a final thought from you before you go. Because we, we are talking about technology in the future. And you're an engineer. Uh, Rachel's a, a technologist, whatever that is. Um, I guess I suppose it's close to being an engineer. Um, is technology gonna gonna save us? Is it gonna enhance our world? Is it gonna lead to more? Come and come and have a seat on the table of chat. We've got Mike. We've got Harvey and Rachel. Mike's just about to go. We're just about to get a final thought from him. Come and have a seat. What's your name? Uh, Seamus and Luke. We're talking about how to build a robot. Do you just need? I'm just you... shouting to my friend. Okay. Well, you, I thought you might need a bit of ampl amplification. Oh, Sam. <laughs> Sam. Uh, anyway, um, so Mike, uh, Mike, final thought. The um, future technology. Well, it was the future. Te I mean, uh, you're an engineer. I mean, do you think that? Uh, I think it'll come full circle. Yeah. 
and yeah. technology will just become a thing of the past. Right, we, you think we'll just be fed up with technology? Yeah, absolutely. We'll yeah. do everything by hand again? Yeah, absolutely. Interesting, interesting. And that's Evolution. From, yeah, that's yeah. what's going to happen. Okay, so uh, where do we want to go with this? I mean, are you worried about robots taking over? Are you, you're a bit worried? Harvey's a bit worried. And um, what do you think about it? Or do you think that, that when you know when you're kind of my age, there won't be any jobs because robots will be doing everything? I think that it'll uh, it'll um, create jobs, but also mm. make less jobs. So what, there might what? be an even balance, but probably to more there'll lean be, into us. There'll robots. be different jobs. Yeah, yeah, way. yeah. What sort of jobs will there be then? Uh, well, you've obviously got to make the robots, but then the worry is that yeah. someone makes a robot to make the robot. Yeah, we've talked about that already. I'm just getting some chocolate. Okay, give us a final thought. Well, about robots, I think yeah. they are bad, quite bad, quite good for the environment. Yeah, they're bad and good for the environment. Yes. Okay, why are they bad and why are they good? They, like... Some robots help people and yeah. some robots don't help people. They okay. like push people and things. I take their eyeballs away as well, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, are you off as well, Rachel? Well, yeah, he's my son, so I need to go with him. <laughs> yeah, so have you got a final, in which case? Oh, right, sorry. Sorry, what? Well, <laughs> have you got a final thought? Um, Viva la resistance. Okay, what does that mean? I don't know. Is it is it French? We. Oui. Okay. Do you know what it means? I no, don't know. No. Do you know what it means? No. no. Okay. Um, so where are we going to take this conversation? This is Tokyoki. We can carry on talking about robots. We can talk about something else. Talk about something else. What, what, do you, what would you like to talk about? <laughs> what would you like to football? What would you like to say about football? Um, Liverpool's transfer business has been fantastic. What, what have they done in the way of? Because I've not, I have to say, I've not really been following the transfers. But what have they been? What business have they been doing? They've signed some top quality players. They need to, they needed to reinforce the midfield, and they did that. They bought okay. like two of the best young midfielders. Who have around. they got now? So they bought some a lad from Nabi called Nabi Kater. Yeah. He's, Where? he's Guinean. Right. Okay. They bought him from Germany. Yeah. And um, where is Guinea? It's in Africa. Okay. And someone called Fabinho. He's yeah. from Brazil, and yeah. they also bought a goal. Yeah, they also bought a goalkeeper because he's because yeah. the, the one they've got at the moment had issues. And who they bought, who they have bought, they got at the moment? They bought uh, Loris Carius. He's rubbish. Yeah. So this German okay. lad, and then they yeah. bought this lad from Roma. Yeah. And he's Brazilian for okay. 66 million. Okay. Um, is that and someone not from a Stoke, a winger from Stoke? Okay, so they've been spending quite a lot of money. Yeah. Has yeah. it been worth it? Has it been worth it to spend all that money? It could be. Yeah. Okay. Are you back? Do you, are you interested in football, Harvey? Yeah. Um, do you, I mean, what's your name again? Sorry. Seamus. Seamus. Right. Seamus is saying that Liverpool have been spending millions and millions of pounds, hundreds of millions, on footballers. Do you think it's worth it to spend that sort of money? Who's the best footballer? Who's the best footballer? Messi. Messi. What? What? What makes him the best footballer? Well, he's done good passes and things. I'm good Okay, okay. I mean, do you agree with that? Is Messi the best footballer? No, I disagree. Why? Because uh, I think Ronaldo is better than him. Okay. I mean, he's he's good player, Messi, but mm. I think Ronaldo is much more physical, and I think yeah. Ronaldo, he, he's older, Ronaldo, but I think yeah. he's a better goal scorer. And at the end of the day, yeah, it's good. That's to what football's about. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, it's who yeah. can score more goals than the other, and if you've got someone who's uh, the best yeah. goal scorer in the world on your team, that Ronaldo or Messi? That's what we're talking about now. Um, what's your name again? Luke. Luke is saying it's got to be Ronaldo because Ronaldo can can score more goals, um, and he's a more physical player. He's just been around the park a bit more. What do you think, Ronaldo or Messi? Come and have a seat. We have got Luke. We've got Seamus. We've got Harvey. We've got Rachel. What's your name? What I would say is Jury's out until they ever play on the same team. They have to play on the same. No, no, if they've had the same service from each team, then you'd know who was the best. Okay, so if you, if they were playing on the same team and they and you kind of swap them over, and then you, that's the only way you could really tell. Well, uh, yeah. My football, my favourite footballer yeah. is Harry Kane. Harry Kane, why? He's got so, scored the most goals in the World Cup. Okay, okay. Yes. Does that make him the best footballer? 
Yes. Okay, Luke, Seamus, Harry Kane. Uh, good player, good goal scorer. But yeah. uh, I, I, he, he, I think he, uh, if you put him in a team, mm -hmm. it's one less uh, creator. And he, I think uh, he can drop deep and uh, and play as sort of a false nine. He did that a bit for England. But uh, I think I'd rather have someone like Ronaldo, okay. more mobile as well. Okay. Can get around the what pitch do you mean more mobile? Yeah, can get around the pitch more. Harry Kane's okay. quite okay. slow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you, uh, Rachel, are you aware of this? That, that Did you know Ronaldo was more mobile than he Harry Kane? Know anything about football. I was not aware of that fact. Okay, well, now you know. He's more mobile. I mean, what, one of the things that Seamus was talking about was that uh, how much have Liverpool spent over the last so, couple of weeks? 66 million. Luke, maths. 12 million. Yep. And then 78. And then, and then um, 50, f about 55 on Cater. Um, okay. So uh, quite a bit of money. I think we've got... Okay. 173 million. Okay. Uh, let's call it 173 million. Is that a good investment? Is that a good amount of money to spend on footballers? Footballers, you say yes? Yeah. Okay, Rachel? I think it's disgusting. <laughs> why? 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 Okay. If you look at Liverpool's net spend, they've spent all that money, yet they still have about 244 million. What do you, what do you mean by that? So they've they sold they sold a really good player for 100. Yeah. They sold C yeah. Coutinho for about 130 million pounds. Mm. So the money from and they got to the Champions yeah. League final. Yeah. So they got a lot of money from that, and the amount just the amount of money added up, they've not spent all the okay. money. Okay. So they spent tens of mi hundreds of millions of pounds, but they've made hundreds of millions of pounds. What do you think? You what do you think about that, Rachel? Do you think? Um, that makes it justifiable to spend those hundreds of millions of pounds on footballers? No, it's a stupid, pointless game. It's a waste of money. Yeah. And think of all that money that could be spent on our NHS or okay. schools or uh, anything uh, would be okay. better. Yeah. So could, would that money be better spent on schools rather than on footballers? Well, footballers don't have to be as expensive as they are. They just, it just yeah. seems yeah. they are. Um, basically, what, what football is, it, it's... Um, no, but it is a business, but... Yeah. Uh, because a player costs so much, mm. because mm. another player's cost so much before him. So do you get what I mean? Like so that you know someone started this whole yeah, yeah. football football 173 million pounds spent on the Liverpool midfield. Is that a waste of money? Oh. What's that? Tell you at the end of the season. I mean, but that could be spent on the NHS. I know who won the World Cup. What's, yeah. What? What did he say? You could ask. Come over here, come out. Should that money be spent on the NHS or some of it? At least go to the NHS. Come, come and have a seat. Don't be shy. This is Tokyoki. We have got Luke. We have got Seamus. We have got Harvey. We have got Rachel. What's your name? Uh, Theo. Theo. My name's Mikey. Is that a waste of money? That's what Rachel's saying. I mean, you know, part of it should go to the NHS. Yeah. But, you know, at the end of the day... Should there be a, like a tax on transfer fees where like 20% maybe goes to the NHS? I mean, you might be on something. Okay. Okay. If you, if a player comes from like a country like Italy, yeah. like Liverpool, like a Liverpool player is, yeah. uh, like a Liverpool player is this yeah. year has. Should it go, then go on the Italian NHS? Exactly. That's the okay. problem. Okay. We're talking about football. 173 million pounds spent on the Liverpool midfield. Is that a waste of money? Most people say no. But maybe some of it could go to the NHS or to the Italian NHS. Yeah. It could be. Yeah. And couldn't be. Okay, you're because, not sure. Because uh, they could get some more money for a new stadium and a, yeah. and a new team playing. And well, could you couldn't you spend that on ill people? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Give me a final thought before you go. Football's brilliant. Okay. Is it better than hospitals? Ernie. Uh, it's it's also it's quite yeah. irrelevant because yeah. if, uh, if 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 a football team in England's gonna yeah. get taxed on that, it's gonna it's gonna make it a less attractive prospect to be a football that's, team that's based in England. Capitalism. Okay. What's that? You can you can speak. There's no age limit on Tokyo. Uh, that's the nature of capitalism. <laughs> okay. Capitalism. What's what's capitalism? I'm not even going there. Okay. I know who won the World Cup. Who won the World Cup? France! Are you pleased about that? Yeah. 
Because okay. I support France. Okay, Theo, where, where do you want to take this conversation? Do you think it's a waste of money? Do you, uh, sh could we spend the money on the NHS? Do, um, <laughs> what, do, anything to say about this capitalism? I think more money should go to the NHS, but yeah. honestly, I don't have a standing point. <laughs> yeah. Come and have a seat on the table of chat. We've got some new faces. We've got, uh, we have got Rachel, we've got Harvey, we've got Theo. Uh, I'm Mikey, what's your name? Rob. And? Lila. And? Nonny. Welcome, Nonny. So at the moment we're talking about, um, apparently Liverpool have spent £173 million. <laughs> Are you off, Rachel? <laughs> I, I want a final thought from you, because you're the one who said, and this has been a good, it's a very good comment to make. Should that money be spent on the NHS? Or could it be spent on ill people, or hospitals, or something like that, rather than on footballers? Well, uh, I'm Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I think uh, ill people because it can help the hospital people. Okay. And uh, help get some more money. Okay, so that we could we could spend it on ill people. Would that might that might be better? Final thought. Uh, I just have no interest in a bunch of young men kicking a ball around a field and getting paid millions to do so. <laughs> it might help their health prospects, though, mightn't it? Uh, you can just go for a run in the park. It's okay. You know. Okay. So why are these young men running around chasing a ball? This is some questions here. Come and sit, have a seat. Come and get involved in this. We've got a lot of spare seats around the table. Um, we have got um, what's your name? Ernie. 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 We've got Harvey. Um, we have got Theo. Um, what was your name again? Rob. Rob and. Lila. And Nonna. Nonny. 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 Um, so what do you think about this? You've just come and joined us, so you've not really had the mic yet. Do you, what do you think about this subject? <laughs> do you think that it's a waste of money? <laughs> do you think about money at all, Nonny? Um, I have no interest in football at all. But is it, do you think it's a waste of money, or do you think it's fair enough for, for people to yeah. spend that money on it? No, I don't think so because I don't I don't find football interesting. Do you, why why are people I mean there is there was a quite a big obsession with it. Why are people interested in this and, and spending this huge amount of money and where does the money come from? I think, um, I think it's escapism, isn't it? Football is yeah. is I think it's an escape from reality and it's just right. grown out of proportion. In proportion it's grown Yeah beyond what it should be. Okay. Um, I enjoy watching it, but I don't agree in the f with the financial okay, sort of so aspect of it. Okay, so it's kind of like the, the finance side is what you don't get, but you don't get why people are interested in it at all. Okay. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Paul. Paul. Have you got a view on this? Um, I'm, I like watching football. I, yeah. I'm a football supporter. Yeah. Um, I agree with what team do you my uh, Leeds United, unfortunately. Leeds United. Yeah. <laughs> I agree with the the chap of there. I miss your name. Sorry, dude. Rob. 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 Um, the amount of money they get paid is ridiculous. But at the same time, um, they earn a lot of money for their clubs, and it's a right. it, football's so a business. So the money comes in as well as goes out. Football's a business. Yeah. And if you invest a hundred million pounds in a player, then you get that money back in T-shirt sales yeah. and kind of yeah. TV rights and all the rest of it. Yeah. And it's 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 not a, it's not a sport anymore. It's a business. Okay. So the kind yeah. of sport side of it is, is, is yeah. being lost. Do you have you got a view on this? Um, I think it's. I mean, it is a business. But when you invest in a business, yeah. you get, as you said, like you get stuff out of it. It's that price because it's there's a reason for it. Okay. So the price reflects the demand exactly. in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come and have a seat on the table. Shall we talk? <laughs> two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. We're talking about because we're in a, we're in a hot subject what right now. Talking we're talking about a hundred. No, it's 173 million on Liverpool's midfield. Is that a waste of money? Should it go to the? I'll come back on the way back from the. Is it a waste? Is it? moved on to another. Well, subject? should that money be spent on the NHS? That's the question. Oh, yes. Well. I don't know anything about football, to be honest. Do you know so anything about the NHS? Yes, I work for the NHS. Do, they, do, so many do you need money? Yes. But I don't think we'll get it yeah. with coming out of Europe. I think we need to get rid of all our politicians and start again. Okay. <laughs> How will that affect the Liverpool midfield? That's what we want to know. Or Leeds United, for I mean, that matter. that one, I'm not sure. Okay. okay. All right, so that's where we are with that. I think this is great. I love it. We're here all weekend, so plenty of... We'll, we'll Back with some forwards. Okay. And, uh, I hope you, can you? Because we've got we've yeah. got um, Nonny here doesn't even understand why people are interested. Like on 22 people, 
running around chasing a sack full of air. Why? What's the, what's the, the excitement about it? You like football, I but like football. but you don't really get it. So what is it? You play the sport. Yeah. You play football. I, I think you appreciate yeah. the skill, can't yeah. you? I think. Oh God, it's 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 like anything competitive. It's like any sport that there are. Yeah. There is beauty to it. There is an understanding to it. There is. Yeah energy spent, there is exercise, there is health, there's camaraderie and all of it. Yeah. But once you start getting paid for it, that's where it goes wrong. Okay, so maybe we sh- maybe it shouldn't actually be paid for it. It should be amateurs. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what, you're a football supporter, kind of, anyway. Um, well, I, 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 I'm a football fan. Yeah. Um, I, 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 will, I, I pay to watch football players play. Yeah. I'm not as good as them. They're clearly better than I am. I don't think they should get paid the amount they get paid, but... Yeah. They wouldn't get paid the amount they get paid if the, the, the demand wasn't there, the advertising yeah. wasn't there to support them. Okay, so it's kind of all reflected on demand in a way. I mean, but what about... Have you got something to say But, I mean, what... Uh, what Please don't talk about robot farmers. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're better. Alright, well, we could, we could, we, earlier on we were talking about robot farmers. Um, is it possible to have robot farmers? But well, maybe we could combine these subjects. Could you have robot footballers? Uh, and would a robot footballer actually be cheaper? Yeah. Thus, wouldn't it, be bring more, wouldn't it be more predictable though? Because if you programmed a robot, yeah. you know exactly what it was going to do. I don't know. I don't know. It's You're not. There's there's the unpredictability of football that you don't know what's going to happen. Well, I mean, Whereas let's ask the technologists because we've got Rachel here. You're you're in. You know about this. Would <laughs> would it be more predictable if robots were playing football? <laughs> I've no idea. I'm I make like websites and stuff. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, okay. Um, all right, but you're, you're still the expert here. Come and have a seat on the table to chat with. There's a few different subjects on the table. Uh, robot farmers, footballers, MHS. Um, what do we want to take this? Where do you where do you want to take this discussion? Anything been of interest to you so far? Uh, Brexit. Brexit was in kind of oh, Brexit. Brexit. Oh, no. Can we take him out to Brexit? Okay. We can have a show of hands. Who wants to talk about Brexit? Oh, it's no. Depressing. Okay. <laughs> Okay, um, uh, Brexit just hasn't got any, well, anything else though. What, what we need? Who wants Brexit? Brexit? No. Who wants gymnastics? Who wants gymnastics. Who wants gymnastics. Uh, uh, Not even the prime minister. Yes. Okay. None of us. I don't want to leave the you know. Okay. But I, 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 I dare I say it out in public. But yeah, that's a very complicated subject, and okay. my daughters kill me. Yeah. Oh, Lila would like to talk about. Gym- I mean, how is Brexit going to affect gymnastics? Is it going to be change the way gymnastics is done? Or is it not going to? Is it just going to carry on the same? Uh, what do you think, Lila? Yeah. Okay, you don't want to talk. You're not interested in. Are you interested in Brexit or gymnastics? What about robot gymnastics? <laughs> will the will gymnastics? Will the flow of technology out of Europe? Um, impede robot gymnastics in the future. The, 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 the rules and regulations that yeah. the EU brought in yeah. will um, keep keep children safe when they're doing gymnastics and stuff. Okay. And if we're not in the EU anymore, then yeah, then they'll then just be willy nilly the gymnastics. <laughs> it's just going to okay. be like Do fired out of cannons and yeah. all the rest okay. of it. It's going to be there's going to be nothing. Okay. I mean, should the, should gymnastics be deregulated? Do you think? <laughs> no. <laughs> What do you think? I mean, are there too many rules in gymnastics? What do you think? What do you think, Lila? Uh, uh, have you got a view on gymnastics? Uh, Not really. Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, all right. I mean, what? Harvey's got an opinion. Yeah, Harvey. What do you think? Too many rules in gymnastics? I think it's good because children can do get fit and yeah. do exercise. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, have you got any? Uh, do you do gymnastics? Th- well, you used to I, do gymnastics, didn't you? Yeah, I know this because I used to go to gymnastics. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well. <laughs> what did you? Why did you leave? Too many rules? I was getting too big. Okay. I mean, this we could always, you know, has anyone ever been in a club that then they decided to leave for some reason? Now, why did you leave? <laughs> have you ever? Have you ever been in a gymnastics? She has. Yeah. What, she what club um, were you in? I was in Bristol Hawks. No, Glen. Yeah. Glen. What sort? Of, mm. um, why did you leave? Why did you leave? Because uh, I moved to a different club. Okay, you moved to a different club. Isn't that kind of what Brexit is? We're just moving to a different club. <laughs> well, wait, wait. Uh, okay. Let's get some final thoughts. 
Um, we, we, we shouldn't. Brexit shouldn't happen. Yeah. Um, Why? Because it's a terrible idea. Yeah. It's going to ruin a lot of people's lives. Yeah. Um, it's uh, even the government can't decide what's going to happen. But they're 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 absolutely incompetent. Yeah. Theresa May doesn't know. She's like she's in, lost her entire cabinet's worth of people because she doesn't know what she's doing. The people voted yeah. for Brexit and now they don't really know what that means. Right. And okay. if they did know that, what that means, they'd vote against it right now. Okay. But anyway, okay. um, uh, gymnastics is cool. Let everyone should do gymnastics. Okay. Yeah. Um, is Brexit going to affect gymnastics, do you think? Um, uh, possibly, yeah, because we're not going to get as many kind of um, foreign nationals coming into Britain with and training. training with the, no, no, but, but like. Yeah. We've always, we've, Britain's always been a, 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 an accepting kind of country, and people have come in and yeah. and and yeah. made made this their home and stuff. But if Brexit happens, then we're going to kind of yeah. cut them out. And then, what are we not allowing people in anymore? That's ridiculous. Why? Why? We should. We should. We. Yeah. yeah. No, we, we should let people in. We yeah. should. We, we, Britain's an opening country. We should. Let, everyone should be our friends. We should let them in. Yeah. If we don't let people in, they're not going to be as good at, gy at gymnastics. Okay. So, um, can we have a seat? We're talking about Brexit and its effect on gymnastics. <laughs> oh, uh, um, <laughs> well, and Paul was suggesting that with he thinks Brexit's a terrible idea and it will limit the flow of gymnastics ideas coming into the country because you will no longer have you will no longer have the you know the the flow of talent and the openness to cut, learn new moves do you agree with that do you think that's true yeah, yeah i think so because yeah. like on different different apparatus in yeah. gymnastics lots of the time for apparatus they have foreign coaches because that's not one of britain's strong points like okay. the, probably the strong point of britain is floor okay so so britain's got the floor but what are, what what comes from other countries um like the beam and bars and well, and where, where's the expertise in that <laughs> I other countries, yeah. probably. Yeah. Eastern yeah. Europe, maybe. Come and have a seat on the table. Check out. Sit down. Give us it. You've not got the toilet excuse anymore. Come have a seat. Two minutes. Two minutes. We have got. And yeah, we've got Nonny, Lila, Rob, Theo, and Chrissy. Chrissy. At the moment, we're talking. We're sort of talking about the Brexit thing. I feel it might be too controversial, but they're also talking about its impact on gymnastics and this idea that you've got like a flow of ideas. Like, for example, Britain is good at the floor exercises, but not so good at the beam. So we need to get people in to show us how to do that. Um, and is Brexit going to stop that from happening? Um, could we potentially get that? talent from elsewhere in the world, not just from Europe? These are some of the questions. I don't know if anyone else has got a point of view on this. No, I don't, I, I don't know how Brexit's going to affect uh, gymnastics at no. all. Um, because, yeah. yeah, because surely we just have people c uh, representing their countries when they're playing, uh, when, they're, when they're performing gymnastics. Do so you think there won't, there won't be much effect on gymnastics? Well, oh, I think there'll be effect on everything else, so why not gymnastics? Okay, I mean... <laughs> What, I mean, what do you think about Brexit? Uh, I think it's a terrible idea. Yeah. Absolutely dreadful idea. Whose idea was it? Oh, poor. Uh, Farage's probably. Yeah. Uh, Mrs. Thatcher initially. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, just an accumulation of all the uh, okay. Conservatives. Okay, so yeah. it's a bad idea. Theo, have you got a view on this? Um, yeah, <coughs> quite a couple. I think what they should have done is they should have had, you know, in statistics you have pilot studies yeah. where you test something out before yeah. you actually conduct the proper survey. Yeah. You should have done that and then you should have a, have a mock representation of what would happen because people would actually know. So because what are you saying? So like a little tiny bit of Britain should have gone out of the EU just to see what it's like. Like maybe Lincolnshire or something like that. Could have could have done a Brex a like mini Brexit, like a, a link shit or something like that. Uh, yeah. You could have tried it and won them and then yeah. people would okay. have been I think that's a very good idea. Should we have just done rather than Brexit, maybe Kent Kensit or so, or something like that, or something like that, or you know, I don't know what what the county would be. I don't. We, I, I, yeah, yeah, I don't. I, yeah, I, I don't particularly want to name any counties that shouldn't yeah. be in the UK anymore. But what I was going to say is that Brexit was illegal because we don't we don't make decisions right 
as a population, mm. we our MPs should do it. Mm. So they should never have given us the power to decide something. Yeah. Okay. It sh yes, exactly. So they should okay. have taken guidance yeah. on the referendum. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, come and have a seat. Oh, look, this is Tokyo. Okay, hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. I'm just doing. So we've got Chrissy, we've got Theo, we've got Rob, we've got Lila, we've got Nonny, I'm Mikey. Um, another Rob. Um, at the moment, we're talking about Brexit, especially the impact on gymnastics. Um, but the point is, is it's a bad idea. And Theo's come up with a really good idea. What we should have done is just simply got um, one of the counties of Britain to just to sort of like try out Brexit just like one county could have just tried it out rather than do the whole thing yeah. give, okay, let, me get, get, let me get a final thought because one Rob replacing another Rob okay, okay. I'm not here we're here all evening anyway um, give us a final thought on gymnastics or Brexit whatever you want this is talk okay, it's a free form talk show you can talk about whatever you want to talk about my job is simply to move the microphone around introduce people and remember people was named. My passing final comment is just lovely to be here, lovely to meet you, lovely to meet everyone to my left and I hope everyone has a lovely weekend and up gymnastics. Okay. Are you, are you doing, you, no, at least you are. <laughs> I couldn't cut. You know, we've heard, of, we've heard a lot about gymnastics. This is not the first time it's been where mentioned. Are they, where are they, where well, one of the, that, that is one of the questions that was raised today. We had, we had uh, Robin and Laura earlier on. Oh, where? In, uh, in, in Middlesbrough, we're near where we live. In Borough? Yes. Okay. 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 So I used to live in Darlow. But I, I used to be involved in sport in the North East. I, I know the gymnastics development officer up there as well. Okay. Okay. So, but it doesn't mean I'm a big cheese or anything like that. Uh, okay, well, 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 there's been a lot of chat about gymnastics already today, funnily Why enough. You to let the young people decide. You can. Would you like to vi vote about Brexit? What would you say, Steph? What do you think? What do you think? Give what us what a Danny final said? thought before you go. No. Lila, what gymnastics do you think? is fun. Okay. <laughs> Should decisions be made through gymnastics, and how would that work? How? That's a tough question. Uh, Nani, what do you think? Um, no, have you got a view on any of this? Sarah. Have you been following the conversation? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, a final yes. thought from you, Chrissy, before. Uh, yeah, we've got a final thought for now. Uh, look, you, look, um, hang on a sec, uh, Nonny, let me just get... Uh, please, can we stay in the European Union? Okay. <laughs> what about maybe we could do it the other way around? Because um, you were saying, well, why doesn't one smaller group... Let's go pull in. Or whatever. Why well, doesn't one smaller county kind of? Why, why, maybe we can have a uh, in the EU county, like a little yeah, yeah. place where. The it took in, in that sit down, sit down, because I'm because yeah. it's tiring. Hard. I, I want a final it. thought from you, Chrissy, before I'm you go. Oh, um, it wasn't a final. Well, nothing thought. happened yeah. for like yeah. two years, so we had no idea. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, if they'd had it properly planned out, mm. it would have been more instantaneous and we'd have actually had So you an think idea they should have got the, gone with the plan first and they then done the they vote? Have, yeah, because, I mean, it's, it's like... It's, it's essentially like planning something without actually thinking yeah. about... It's like the saying, what is it? Fail to prepare and prepare to fail. Okay. You know? uh, do you think Britain has done that in a way? Uh, sort of. I mean, I don't... Okay. I don't really know much about Brexit, but I can't really see any of the advantages yeah, of it, okay. really. There's no okay. proper advantages to it. Okay, what do you think some people think the advantages are? I don't, because they talk about free market and stuff like that, but... Hang on a sec, I haven't even got a first... Uh, it's a too hot a discussion. Sorry, Theo. It looks like we might be finishing this off anyway for now, but um, final, 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 final thought? I don't really know. Um... You should have rethinked it, really. Yeah, thought it through first, and then I mean, I think there's some. You made some very, very good points about Brexit. About you know, we should have tested it out. We should have thought it through, come up with a plan, and then made the decision. Maybe rather than make the decision and then make the plan. Yeah. If you fail to prepare, you prepare to fail. Yeah. 